Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. This is a very new for me. And as you can see, I am sporting a shirt. We are going to be reacting to Met Gala 2023. Now, I am no Hutler mode or uh, Luke Mars, I believe his name is. He knows um, fashion, brands, like his hair care routine. I, however, do not. As each photo, I took a screenshot of and saved it onto files on my computer. It does um, say who they're wearing, um, artist and designer wise. I mean, a very outside perspective for someone who does not you know, focus who is someone is wearing. But just to admire the end result artwork, I mean, you don't really study for the artist's signature on a painting most of the time anyway. You know, with a little bit of that concept, I'm going to be you know, looking at each fashionable, I mean, I studied them, studied them a little bit, you know, as I was filing these photos, but otherwise I haven't really nitpicked a part as far as every intricate little detail. So that's what we're going to do here, and again I am no Luke Mars from Hut the Mold YouTube channel. He can pick apart um, a dress outfit. I, on the other hand, I'm just going to be focusing on what I see at face value from as other fashion world perspective. So without further ado, the whole entire theme as established was directed to um, Carl, I forgot to put his surname on the screen because I can't remember how it's pronounced. I do know that based off history, he's originally from Germany, especially during the god awful holocaust times when he did get um, old enough and the opportunity to travel um, into country internationally more specifically. Um, he landed into France and he made damn sure that no one would ever figure out that he's definitely of German origin. Uh, he was horrified by that past, so he put on a French persona as much as he could and made sure to dress by no means anything German related, only made sure to take on French fashion. So he wanted to disconnect himself from the German past, you know, regarding the Holocaust and such, which props to him. Now, as much as far as his fashion did come along, catching a lot of eyes obviously, just as well, he couldn't um, hold back some rude comments to do with um, body shaming, even though he was a little on the wonky side himself. Um, even when he lost weight and put out a few books, he was still fat shaming. A lot of speculations towards him, a lot of um, you know, downfalls, a lot of He's had his spirals with other um, fashion icons or other designers more specifically, but that obviously didn't stop him from losing the touch of fashion itself. And obviously here we are with 2023's Met Gala. Um, he passed away 2019, but three years later is now when, I don't know if that event is held every three years or if it's held every, every year specifically. Pretty much the idea was to honor Carl, whatever his surname is, I'm so sorry for getting, for forgetting his surname. As the idea was to honor precisely the way he ever dressed and or all the um, you know, dot points of all the fashion that he put out that really captivated attention for one half a long time. And you know, some people got the memo and others didn't. Start, starting off with actually just the way I categorized it all, we're starting off with Rihanna. So of course I will obviously throw the pictures up on the screen when I get to editing. So Rihanna and I don't know if it's ASAP Rocky or ASAP Rocky, but either way, Rihanna and ASAP Rocky, Valentino, Vulgari, and Bolperon Jewelry. So we already established that Rihanna has this huge um, cupcake floral shape um, hoodie and jacket, shawl, capelli, all rolled into one type of top half, you know, for warmth and comfort and stuff. And lower half, of course, is the skirting dress. ASAP is, of course, in a, um, that was pretty funny. But the overall concept of the fashion was white shirts, you know, pretty much the way ASAP Rocky is dressed, top half. Um, a Scottish kilt, if, that, if I'm getting that one right. Um, jeans at the bottom. And as a selfish with Rihanna, she has this um, floral shape. I can't remember what the um, name of the flower is called. Again, once again, I'll crack myself on screen. Um, she does have these glasses, white glasses, obviously, with a black tint in the middle, bright red lip, and false lashes sticking out of it, which I think is kind of comical and cute. And I'm always reaching kids appropriate because, you know, the goofy glasses that kids wear. And then there's also the fingerless gloves. She's all white. I do refer to her outfit, obviously. I do love how they're sort of color coordinated. So I just try to do three different pictures for me to lean on. And at long last with this one, you can see that she's got this gorgeous necklace, pretty much all pearl. 
So she also has um, white earrings that match the exact floral pattern that's you know, pretty, much, pretty much the running theme. A bigger what's like um, giant pearl a little bit higher up on her ear. Um, giant flower right in the crest of the chest. She's almost very um, summery shaped with the um, cup and the straps. A little bit of side boob but you know pregnant bod. And of course she's got the actual um, cupcake-y um, shawl wrapped around her arms. So the words is also technically a loose fit. And of course the rest of the dress is, um, I don't know if it's probably cut off just under the boob. It's like a separation of cup, strap, then bodice. But then the rest of it's obviously like a different leveled skirt. Which based on this last image. But it's very train, shorter at the front and then train at the back. It's like so many different parts to this dress. But it's all one consistent material. So again, straps, cups, flower, bodice, a little bit of an um, obvious cut off at the um, hip zone, and almost like this actually is the same shape more or less as S at Rocky's um, skirt, how it um, looks very blind. Blind shape as in what you have in your living room blind, not visually impaired blind, obviously. Pretty much the same shape as um, Aesop Rocky's skirt, but just for her lower half of the dress. I think that was it as far as all of her, her accessories, clothing accessories goes. And again, with Aesop Rocky, it was just um, a pantsuit, top half, kilt skirt of the lower half, and jeans. Okay, so moving on to Cardi B. Technically, she had two looks, but I'm only really gonna, gonna be covering the one. And the one would be is her. Also very cupcake-y, kind of like Rihanna's top half shawl, but in a dress form in Shenpeng Studio. I'm also sorry if I'm pronouncing Shenpeng wrong. Shenpeng? Shenpeng? So one of her looks was, you know, grey silver hair in correlation with Carl's hair, the way he used to have it. A whole lot more pale and white. But otherwise close enough. A cute black headband. I'm not too sure about um, these earrings if they're pretty much the same as what Rihanna had at higher up on her ear like pearl earrings, oversized pearl earrings and probably some other little designs around them as well. She definitely has the same like pantsuit type thing but make it a top half dress not too dissimilar to ASAP Rocky the way he had his and of course really really good black gloves that really bring class and elegance and sophistication to a look always gloves sometimes gloves always do that especially when they match in color gosh not me sounding exactly like um luke mask and again the skirt half is just reminding me of like a reverse effect of rihanna's jacket or shawl whatever you want to call it i love how there's a blue possibly diamond sequins it's very sweetheart bodice a bit of a black strap almost playing into the idea that she is wearing a um pantsuit for the top half but obviously not quite <laughs> Right, so that was Cardi B. Again, her second look was um, very, very, all very pink, I believe, or maybe a lavender, one of the two shades. But again, I only covered the um, first look to obviously keep this somewhat short. Jenna Ortega next. Jenna Ortega in Tom Brown and Amali Jewelry. I honestly thought this, this, I honestly thought that this was pronounced Tom Brown because of the TH, but no, Tom Brown. Honestly, looking right at her, right at the jump, I couldn't help but notice a lot of um, steampunky ness regarding the whole entire appeal of the outfits. But you know, of course, and probably anybody else thought the same thing as well, who else couldn't help but think so much of a little bit of Wednesday Adams in this outfit. I could have sworn that she also had a lot more of a whiter shirt underneath, but in different parts of the gala means different parts of lighting. And I love the overall complete black all over black palettes. Again, that there is very Wednesday Adams-esque. A little bit of a stringy ribbon bow. Loving the um, gold chains around it. Just patternized chains, not actual chains. It just helps to break um, the look apart a bit, give it a little bit of colour. The boots are so cute. They look like um, rat stall boots a little bit. I do love how I do like how it's quite short at the thighs, or a little bit higher up on the thighs really. And it gets longer and longer and longer, the more it goes down and the more it goes back. So it's also a train dress. And white fingerless gloves, exactly the same as more or less what Rihanna was wearing. And it's like two different patternized stockings. Like one's a lot more smooth with a black band around it. Other has a, like black stripes. So that was Jenna Ortega. Love what she was wearing. It was um, definitely very age appropriate. I mean, she's not so young, but she's not ancient either. It's actually very adorable what she was wearing. Again, once again, age appropriate. It sort of plays into her very, very, very late teens. Considering she was just recently playing the role of a um, late teen character. But it also plays into her early adult years because obviously Janet is now in her adult years. Up next, Pedro Pascal. 
Now I'm going to guess that um, due to straying away from the black and whites and whites so much, otherwise Pedro Pascal is in Valentino, or red Parker jacket, I think that's called, um, fashionable jacket, red shirt, black tie, and <laughs> black shorts. Probably something you go running in or down to the beach. Black socks and tiny but office appropriate shoes. So as I was saying, straying away from the black and whites and all whites and all blacks. Probably also other um, celebrities were branching out to other parts of Carl's um, fashionable creations that didn't always revolve around black and white just because that was a little something that he wore. So other different colours um, marking other different statements that Carl had ever put out. So if that's um, what any of the celebrities were doing, yeah, I've realised I pronounced celebrity is strange, then you know, it wasn't all about, it wasn't literally a black and white ball. Again, obviously show up in some colour if that also, you know, nods at a hint of what Carl put out there fashion statement wise and a lot of his um, masterpieces and such. Because obviously he wouldn't have just put out black and white pantsuits or dresses, full stop. So of course would have put colour out there. I mean you've got to appease so many different tastes out there after all, not just one specific colour palette. Up next, Gigi Hadid. Oh, I also want to throw out, I should have this out there at the start of the video. I have selected um, through artists and or celebrities a rule that I am absolutely familiar with non-biased, just who I'm more familiar with. Of course, any other celebra celebrities that I didn't recognise even by name or by face, I still admire what they were wearing, but I definitely just specifically chose um, celeb celebrities that I am more familiar with, but I'm not running on bias. I'm not going to say, oh my gosh, this celebrity looks so much better than this previous celebrity. No, no bias here. There is either loving an outfit on, an, um, on a celebrity, or there is it doesn't look so appealing. So, Gigi Hadid. Honestly, with it going in my mind, Gigi Hadid is in an outfit not too dissimilar to Rita Ora. But otherwise, Gigi Hadid in Givenchy, Lago Jewelry, and Smiling Rocks Diamond Necklace. So she has half of her hair pinned back, a little bit of jewelry on the ears, much, much smaller earrings, but just noticeable. Smoky eye makeup, yada yada yada. Uh, pearl necklaces, but a limited amount. A very sheer material going just over the left shoulder. Um, an almost sweetheart bodice corset that almost looks like a um, shapless but one piece bathing suit. So even that material gets thinner and thinner the more it reaches down to the crotch. A much thicker material, kind of acting like a belt almost, but then it leads down into a skirt. And she has got a, um, a blue vest like a continuance. No, it wouldn't be part of the shoulder, it would be part of the. Um, Probably backing of the waist material because it runs in consistency with the waist around with the material around the waist. A little bit thicker on one leg as well, the right leg, but otherwise thinner around the left leg. And black shoes, point toe, a little bit of gold studding, I believe. Probably heels. I mean of course she looks absolutely beautiful, but she's looking like she's going to um very gothic, almost dominatrix funeral. I mean, I love the overall overall look. I love how that there is um, kind of a flower. It looks like a flower on her right side hip. Some sort of silvery pattern trailing down, like the boning of the corset. Material is definitely very see-through, closer to the stomach, because I can see her belly button. And of course, she is looking incredible post-pregnancy. So moving away from Gigi I did now and jumping into, onto I should say, Kendall Jenner. Kendall Jenner in Mark Jacobs and Wolford. Now she is in not too dissimilar concepts to Judy Hadid's um, kind of like, like full bathing suit piece, especially um, at the crotch area. With Gigi, a uh, rephrase with Kendall Jenner's, it reaches um, all the way up, like a, a full top half with, um, <laughs> coming back to this again, and um, Wednesday Adams white collar and or something very obviously Carl surname again, because I do not remember his surname, I'm so sorry. Um, so a Carl collar and you know, all blacking outfits. It's like some people thought it was going to be all out black and white ball. Other people brought so much colour because Carl would have dabbled into a lot of colour as well, again appeasing everybody's taste, but it just seemed like seriously so out of whack with the colour theme and or with the shape of outfit theme. So with Kendall Jenner, she's giving the sleeves are giving me, I can't remember the Star Wars character, but he was like very puppy. 
with long ears, high pitched voice, and sounded like he was holding his nose as he spoke. I can't remember the character's name, but putting an image up on the screen would have bring you guys up to speed. Her sleeves are reminding me of I think it was Jar Jar Binks, but I could be getting that wrong still. Her sleeves are giving me those vibes. Top half is I guess was supposed to be a nod at hey, this is very Carl to him. And then the rest of it is almost bathing suit. The boots are really good. Boots are giving me Brat Stall vibes, just the way that they would have ever sported their gothic wear, yada yada. Honestly, the sleeves were a whole hell of a lot shorter and just like a gentle droop past the elbows. Then I would say that it would actually be quite Coachella appropriate, and I believe I'm not the only one who said that. But otherwise, that was Kendall Jenner. I mean, her outfit is. I wouldn't even say that. I think that um, you know, Carl did throw some bathing suit like daily outfits and on his runways and on his models and his designs. Not so much a Coachella style, but far more something that you could almost, you know, get away with it in, out in public or just at a party or an event or something. You're being away from Kendall Jenner and landing on someone who just keeps getting a twisted outfit going. Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian in Chaparelli. I apologise if I mispronounced that, but she's otherwise in a whole hell of a lot of beads, uh, sorry, pearls, I meant real pearls, because of course she is, a waist trainer corset bodice thing, I don't know if it's off her own skin's design, or if it's just something that um, her team pulled together, a very, very thick white jacket, um, obviously not half as thick as what Rihanna was wearing, but close enough to a thick design. It's almost like this is her very own version, a very very Kim Kardashian version of a Marilyn Monroe dress and we all know how that went for Kim. Her BBL ass had popped off a few sequins and or some were hanging on for dear life, literally hanging on by a thread. And then as I saw earlier on Instagram that Kim's um, daughter was trailing behind her and quite a few pearls of her outfit had popped off and as I said story that's Kylie's daughter. North was trailing on behind Kim collecting the pearls and stuffing them into a purse. So I figured first if it's not Marilyn Monroe's dress first, it's now this one. Girl be popping off everywhere. She's almost giving me um genie vibes just the way her hair is structured. Pinned up at top and then a little bit of shrouding framing her face, which I do like from what I can see of this first photo. I do like her hairstyle. Silvery um, jewel choker. Oh, I really think that she has nipple covers on. Obviously, this overall pearl necklace that obviously covers the um, chest. With a little bit of um, strapping around it, so it doesn't you know, bounce forward as she walks around. And they're pretty much the same thing, but for the skirt, I mean, it doesn't you couldn't even call this absolutely is the Met Gala um, to do with you know, wacky outfits, even if it is in ode to a famed fashion designer and such. But I feel like this is just her bringing her own self piece to an event. I mean, diamonds and pearls wise, I would say that Cal put a lot of um, jewelry on clothes like so. This is probably her trying to focus all of the um, sparkle and the glam as an outfit itself, but otherwise it's like it's taking the only accessories from the overall image of clothes that Kara created and just like singling it out. Like we've all agreed that the Kardashians were so off, um, not off trend, but so off theme that even this outfit is absolutely perfect for Coachella or something, and or some or some sort of other um, event that could you know, have a lot to do with like a European event that plays into a lot of like um I want to argue Egyptian, but not only would that probably be cultural appropriation, but also there is a culture out there that I'm trying to think of that contains a lot of this um these types of outfits, where it's just a lot more um very tribal like. It's very very thin pieces of accessories or clothing that's stripped down like actual strips and structured in a certain way that still covers everything but it's still very transparent at the same time. There is a culture out there that does that for fashion, for cultural fashion. That's almost what you know, I'm looking at with Kim here. That's just what I'm perceiving. Okay so at long last steering away from Kim, jumping onto Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway in Versace and Bulgari with Anne Hathaway style. Half up, um, very Bridget Bardot and your breakfast at Tiffany's type of uh, like William, Williamized top half of her hair. A little bit of face framing as well, but half up, half down. It's like a more relaxed, genie type style. A very simplistic, but very sparkling outfit. Her dress is absolutely stunning. It is giving me, and not to be rude, or that by any means, but it is sincerely giving me carpet material vibes. Just the way I'm looking at the 
exact material, the pattern of the material. Otherwise, it is like um, stitched together fashion because it literally does look like it was um, a dress that was somehow ripped to shreds but then converted together and stitched together. So, therefore, you know, create some coverage around the body, obviously. It came together so beautifully and so fashionably. And I do really like how there's a slit in the middle, floor length, not too much train. So it's very um, narrowed in, kept together, and it just looks absolutely stunning, obviously. So here is from a slightly different angle. I love how there's like a little bits of gold in there as well, not too dissimilar to Jenna Ortega's outfit. Had those bits of gold just to break it up a little bit. The gold here that is on Anne Hathaway's dress works quite well with Anne's skin tone. I mean, she's not um, olive skin, she's more fair skinned, closest to a porcelain skin. Um, but obviously um, Met Gala environment and building and such lighting does look a bit different so I've noticed with a few different photos also I'm thinking that she does have a train after all because she's quite literally holding up half a dress off the floor so I probably stand either that or some sort of jacket that she's just holding down um, closest to the floor because obviously the previous image was all just floor length and now this one is just holding a bit of extra material here is a much better close-up especially with the necklace. It's almost, almost like, it's almost like um, pearl necklaces with a little bit of straight at the top but then a little bit wavy at the bottom and then this unique piece in the middle. Yes, I'm definitely guessing that is um, like an extra jacket. Once again, um, like a fluffy carpet material. Close enough to that concept anyway and context. I like how the middle of it, so the um, cups of it, possibly very floral. I mean, that was also definitely a running theme as I already said to your selected flower. So it's definitely finding its way implementing a lot of different either jewellery, accessory jewellery on the dresses itself and or as an actual piece of the dress. Sorry that I was doing this with my hands. I apologise if I made it more uncomfortable. And I'm just now realising that a lot of those stitchings in the pearl, like multiple grouped up pearls and or actual safety pins because obviously that's ten, that tends to be what you use to pin a dress or stitch a dress together, especially if you're just getting a basic idea of how something's going to start um, being converted with itself material wise so you just use a safety pin or one of them um, pin board pins with um, the round <laughs> the backing and one last image of Anne I love how it sits to her figure as well it doesn't accentuate it doesn't hold her so far in I definitely love how the gloves um, the gloves were very much like little scraps of material pulled together around different parts of the body and it created this whole entire look like it was just like I said it looked like a um, dress that just got shrewn but then picked back up wrapped around her or pulled up onto her stitched in place and it became a whole look so that's clear what they went for there I'm sorry if my voice is sounding too good a bit crooked out now for Donatella Versace as herself honestly this is the kind of dress that Margaret Robbie should have worn and it will definitely get to her as well because some tell about Versace in Versace is in the perfect kind of pink that you'd obviously expect Barbie to wear and loves anyone checked. Margaret Robbie recently played the role as Barbie. In fact it's like two of the same dresses just without the um, added shawl thing over the shoulder that um, Margaret has. Again we'll get to her in a second. I love the um, almost Ariel Little Mermaid um, cleavage padding part. <laughs> There's like a little bit here that goes up. I think there is you know, some of that mesh material that just helps keep everything from falling off. A little bit of floral up at the top around the neckline. Clearly a very um, flexible, non-boning materials, ribbons going down onto the bodice or waist I should say and then of course a high-waisted pink skirt that is just a tad transparent at least wants to get to the knees and below and I believe she's possibly wearing pink shoes. So looks absolutely stunning of course. Now onto JLo. So I've got a couple of distant images because that's just the way it was photographed. Jennifer Lopez in a Ralph Lauren. So a very distant shot of her up on the stairs. Very long, um, almost like scarf-like cape at the back. A bit of like a um, bikini top, a little bit just traveling from the back around onto the cleavage obviously and then like a um, wrap around, around the neck, a black waisting and a pink skirt with a little bit of a train. So here you see a little bit better, she also has a headwear which was giving another YouTuber, I can't remember who, raunchy going to a funeral. <laughs> I don't know because of the headwear is all either that or a very hot summer's day but very elegant worn races. 
horse races, obviously. I think there's also a little bit of like loose tendrils around the um, neck bit. Could also just be like a giant floral shape. An actual choker to run the back to hold the support. Again, some of the support going along the cleavage. Black gloves, which obviously help complete the look. A cute little um, clutch purse. Very, very plush, pale pink for a skirt. Obviously an absolute stunning outfit. I'm definitely guessing that the um, uh, scarf cape at the back, probably either to do with the waistbanding or to do with like extra additional material from the chokehold choker around the neck. So we've got a nice close up headwear. Almost like a um, and yeah, I was right, it's like a giant um, not the Akara loving flower, but just a uh, almost as if someone took a pair of scissors and cut up a giant rose so the petals did a table separately. Floral pattern, like so. Black choker at the back for supports, and you can absolutely get the idea. Earring wise, it looks like it's pretty much the exact same type of pattern that her cut up looking flower on her neck is looking. Like keeping it slightly consistent, but two different things, obviously. And this very teeny tiny image on my screen, view at the back, so it's completely backless. And that being said, the um, scarf width and length backing is to do with the waistband or the neckline. Seguimos, which in Spanish means we move on. Okay, now on to somebody who doesn't pay quite the tribute or ode to. I can't remember the cat's name. I am so sorry for forgetting half of these names. I was about to say Duchette, but that's so. That's another name for another person. But the cat's name was not too far off what I just said. So Doja Cat, with that being said, pretty much dressed up as herself. Doja Cat in Oscar de la Renta, as strongly established. She's um, got like a hooded with cat ears. Actual prosthetics that turned her into a very cat shape face shape. Almost like a halter type of dress from the um, hoodie part. Then like shops just around her shoulders for support. It's very low on the lower back. Very um, mermaid or trumpet, which leads out to a fluffy chain. It is so cute, the whole outfit. A little bit of a um, playful tribute, like, call it a cat, but majority dressed. She looks incredible. So, moving on from Doja Cat, and on to Salma Hayek. Sorry if I'm pronouncing her surname incorrectly. And she was wearing a very, very, very gorgeous red dress with silver or gold loose pearl necklaces, assuming pearl. Just a matter of sort of a bit of sleeving, but then the skirt itself is tulle. So it was very, um, what do you call it? I think it's called dominatrix, where it's very, very shiny pleather, which is um, plastic leather. But the top half, corset and um, sweetheart bodice, but then of course, again, tulle for the skirt. About to at the front and train at the back. I mean, she looks like a stunning, shiny, and then tulle rose. So beautiful. So once again we're bringing in some reds along the lines of Pedro Pascal. Yeah, there was some reds, some all black, some black and white. A little bit of a splash of pink in there. Yeah, that's it for Salma Hayek. Another one that is pretty much on the same lines as Doja Cat, but so many people thought this is probably more appropriate for a strip club and or Coachella. Yep. Little Nas X in Dior. I think some type of underwear which otherwise, you know, completely showed his butt. Uh, some sort of sparkly fa face mask from like a masquerade mask. I believe some sort of um, jeweling around his chest, um, upper most chest and neck. Otherwise the rest of him is body painted with I believe probably some silver studs. I think he was trying his best to look very cats as well. And literally the only thing that's most coverage about him is his boots. Again, it'll be so appropriate if it was like an um, alien theme or ship club or Coachella. That probably would have taken a lot of guts to wear something like that, as bearing as it is. Come to think of it now, he's always been so well dressed every other Met Gala and every other event. And just when an event like this requires a lot of coverage because it's, you know, paying a tribute to a um, fashion designer, he just about rocks up near naked. All right, now on to someone else who never gets on theme for life of her, but once again we're splashing in summer red. Kylie Jenner in Jean Paul Cartier and Maria Tashjuri. I apologize if I botched half of those names. It's almost like choker around one half of the neck. All sleeves and coverage on the other, on the left side of the arm, 
strapless but otherwise with hot bodice from the right side um, it is a split skirts dress specifically on the right leg brings us to Anne Hathaway's split in the dress um, Carla Jones does the same thing but on the opposite side Technically it is a stunning shaped and coloured dress, but this would be definitely be far better appropriate for an actual red carpet event or any other given event that is not necessarily Met Gala-ish, unless you know, anything was revolving around a red theme. Unless of course Carl did throw out some I was put out some red themed um, clothing items for his um, collections and stuff and such, then technically she would be on Carly would be on theme, but I don't know what Carl has put out there fashion wise apart from you know, the endless mention of pantsuits, feminine or male wear, including non-binary in there somewhere. If he has put out some red type of um, clothing pieces and items and such like that, then anybody who is wearing red is of course still technically on theme, it is a nod towards Carl's work, but obviously if he hasn't put out a single scrap of red, then off theme, as usual. I say Oz as usual. So I don't really know what I'm talking about, but as popular opinion on the internet has always gone that Kardashians and Kardashians just cannot stay on theme because they're gonna make too much of the fashion all about what they're wearing. There's a little bit of um, criticism in there, but definitely nothing in, but not, why do I keep saying non-binary? Definitely nothing biased. And the second photo I have of her is just the exact same thing. And moving on. Aubrey Plaza. Ms. Aubrey Plaza in Stella McCartney and Jimmy Choo's shoes. Not that you can see her shoes, but not too dissimilar, like a quarter of the same concept as like the stitch in dress that Anne Hathaway has. Hers is um almost like quite a deep plunge, so it's right in the center of the dress, almost center. But both straps go completely over the right side, but a lot more material is focused on the left side of the chest. Like um a belt rope like off center, the center with um lower half coverage. Loving the silvers. I do like how the um black gloves work. It just could be just me, but it works in so well with her outfits. Just has like a little bit of dark depth for drama. But otherwise, I wonder if it would have made the look or break the look if she actually had um silver gloves the same as the design on her chest. Just as well around the wrist, there is a um white bracelet I believe and a ring on the ring finger and a teeny tiny chain but otherwise full length dress and of course Aubrey looks beautiful. She looks quite bridal and a lot of the um, whites were also very um bridal-esque like very laid back bridal nothing too vavam. Okay moving on from Aubrey. Another one that did pretty much all right with anything on trend. I don't get the purpose of this individual. I know he's a rap artist I believe. Lidino Bad Bunny. A very long train like wrap thing as in shawl which is already got a jacket so I don't really get what's with this extra piece of material dangling behind him. Bad Bunny in Jacquemus. Again I apologize if I pronounced that incorrectly. Absolutely all white pantsuits. Maybe if he was in a traditional pantsuit but with that um, extra bit of material Maybe that would have been more said. Not me sounding like I know what I'm talking about. And now for somebody who never disappoints with wacky fashion. A Billie Eilish. I gotta say her hair style is actually giving me like if Rapunzel ever grew her hair back out. Specifically Tangled Rapunzel and Dyla Black. Billie Eilish's hair in this instance was reminding me a lot, giving me a lot of Rapunzel um, vibes. But otherwise her outfit is like cutting in pretty close into running black theme of Rita Ora, which we'll also get to. Gigi had did um, mention Ortega because she was all coverage. I'll put it across the screen again, but otherwise, really, really the outfit is pretty much falling in the same range as you know, a little black lace, thin black material, corset shape, a skirt, or possibly like underwear shape. Really just looks incredible. Looks very gothic. Give me a little bit of Amy Lee vibes as well. You know, back when Amy Lee really spoiled her gothic appeal way back when. I believe she's also got boots on. I don't think I mentioned the artist I rephrased, the young fashion designer. Simone Rocha and Cartier Jewelry. Really just looks like something you'd expect to see in a gothic music video from heavy metal artists. <laughs> so good. It's like gothic bridal and or tending to a funeral or something for a, like um, steampunk and or just for a very very fashionable funeral. 
Up next, somebody who's finally gotten a bit of a hint fashion wise. It's according to the amount of times I have watched Hot Le Mode, and every time he's covered Olivia Rodrigo, uh, she's always, almost always ever been in very plain outfits and just dressed. This time, however, the young lady in Tom Brown, very, very black and white, almost pinstripe black and white. A um, lot of floral light patterns in black and white, stripey, but also selectively black and white, like the chest area and a little bit of the midriff just where the ribs start but the rest of it is um kind of like if you really stretch out a pom-pom tendrils as the dress itself her hairstyles also give me betty boop just as far as the shape of it goes i actually do recognize and realize that betty boop was simply an african african american character but because of the black and white actual black and white i seriously always thought that betty boop was a caucasian character obviously my bad yeah so a little bit of um, breakfast at Tiffany's as well, just with the bangs, but also a little bit of Betty Boop in there as well, and just hairstyle wise. It would have looked really, really good if she has some sort of necklace or choker with a little bit of pizzazz shape to it. But otherwise, she looks very, very fashionably accurate, just as far as the endless black and white or all black gothic ish um, fashion has been going so far. Hey, okay, now on to Giselle. I'm not too sure who Giselle is. A good lord, that outfit. The shawl that gives very angel wings, white dress that looks like um, a smushed in white picket fence, um, but others otherwise in Chanel. Chanel was a um, sponsor of the Met Gala event. It's like a bit of an extra mesh material with a white port at the top just for seam securing. I think there is a little bit of um, sleeve on her arms, unless it's just some of the um, shawl material just falling around her arm a bit. And a cute little silver clutch. A little bit of earrings from what I can see. This guy seriously looks like he's a 12E. Somehow snuck into the Met Gala. Guys, as a mid 20 year old. Honestly, what in the high hell is this young man doing at a Met Gala? And literally so far off theme. And showed up at the Met Gala, obviously. Shirt wise, it looks like something to do with, I don't know, a rock band. Some, some sort of um, Japanese cartoon. Pretty decent necklace though. Jacket wise is not too dissimilar to what Pedro Pascal had but all black and pants, top hat, gloves, dark pants. What is this guy doing? And the added, I know that like, Pete's a comedian and as of late he's an actor and obviously Ariana's ex and then Kim Kardashian's um, rebound side piece at the Megala. I thought, what was he doing there? <laughs> it doesn't even come fashionably dressed, he just came with material on his body. Moving the hell on, <laughs> Shannon. Now onto somebody else who definitely never disappoints me with fashion. Priyanka Chopra Jonas. Don't know why I said that with such an accent. Priyanka Chopra Jonas and Nick Jonas in Valentino and Bulgari, Bulgari jewellery. <coughs> From what I can tell, an all black dress. Slit down the middle on the left leg. I think there is a bit of um, yeah, it's a little bit of a scrunch on the left side waist with a cute bow. I uh, think um, white gloves, some sort of extra white material, but then an all black kind of like tent material, if you will. I think like the extra coverage you put over the tent so that the rain does not get through that material, they're plugging through the main tent and such raining through that kind of material. I love the necklace around her and neck, though. Also, really, really like that um, Nick is wearing a leather jacket, but it's the same thing as a pantsuit jacket. Blazer is what it's called. Black tie, obviously. White shirt, the pants. Bianca's shoes, high heel black, mostly pretty bare to the feet. And this little strap around the ankle, clearly. Also, it looks like she's rocked up in something a little bit different. I don't know if this was from like um, last year or the year before or whenever, but this has been advertised as a thumbnail for the live stream for Met Gala. But otherwise, a gorgeous red, velvety red dress with um, not too dissimilar to the concept of. Little Nass's um, chest bit, but with Doja Cat's headwear a little bit, kind of like that. But oh my god, looks like she's bringing her um, Middle Eastern but Indian culture to this headwear, as well as like a top half um, capillary shawl type of concept. I don't don't know if this is from like a year or two or a year ago, but she looks so beautiful right here. I love the concept of the gold meshing, meshing in with the red, the deep blood velvet red literally because it's velvet material from what i can see but again i don't know if this is just a um outfit change sorry my camera cut off i didn't realize i reached some um, another 30 minutes so quick all right as we were 
Like I don't know if it's from a, a year or two or a few ago, but this um, image of her was advertised for the um, Met Gala's thumbnail for the live stream. And again, I don't know if it was like an outfit change, the same as what um, I'm forgetting names so quickly. I'm annoyed at myself. Cardi B. I don't know if she um, pranked the costume outfit change like um, Cardi B did. No wonder someone else who deserves a bit of a clean break. No pun intended. Alright, Cara Cal Delevingne and Carl Lagerfeld and Stuart Waitsman shoes. So let's just get into a better picture. An all shirt like material, as in what Carl had ever been wearing. Um, as a shirt, but it also blends like a mini skirt, which at the back leads out to this very, very long cape like jacket um, with black ankle warmers and of course, almost like sandal like shoes, all very white hair with her, not her own hair coloured, or she just plopped on a wig. A um, little bit of jewellery, a little something around the neck, kind of like a body chain, a little bit around the neck, a cross, another little bit longer. And then all the way down, that just covers in the cleavage, or between, the, yeah, right in the middle of her chest is what I mean. It's a very simplistic look, but at the same time very intriguing. And again, the white shirt is definitely something that Carl has always been wearing. So she's definitely giving quite a strong nod at, you know, something that he's always sported. And quite the close-up of her silverish grey hair, a nod at Carl's hair, the platinum that he had, or platinum grey. She looks like a pixie. But that's also why she got her role like so in Carnival Row as playing a role of a fairy. Go figure. Moranan. And there's somebody who's a bit of sass. Lizzo. Chanel and Jimmy Choo shoes. Once again with the black and white. Quite the nod and the support for Chanel. A lot of them, clearly just an all black dress. Bit of a slit on the side. Train. With I believe a little bit of studding at the back. And all pearls. Just to... And make it look like it's on like multiple pieces of a dress. But a lot of pearls around the dress. It's very draped. I like it was just tied around, but very, very precise, tied around. It's just really, really good. Now onto somebody who's just fashionably chef's kiss. We have Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban in Chanel. And she's actually re-wearing a dress she wore in Chanel number no. five. I think it was specifically a perfume ad. Not a clothing ad, but in the commercial she was running with this dress. She had like a half up style, very loose beach waves. Of course Keith is in a tuxedo, that kind of like um, ducks hell around the back. Black pants, all white shirt, a little bit of a flower I think on the shoulder. No tie. The idea of Nicole's top half was almost very transparent-ish. Fitting in with all those um, transparent material that all the um, other black I can't remember what Billy Eilish was wearing, but, and or Gigi Hadid, but it's obviously very pink, and the lower half is kind of like very, very fluffy, big bird, and or probably, I wouldn't say tool, which is of fluffy, big bird like material. Absolutely stunning. Very pink and fairy ish. There was somebody else who was all in um, like a baby pink like this, but okay. On to somebody else who spoke quite fondly of. Carl, somebody who definitely always gives me fairy vibes, Elle Fanning, as in Dakota Fanning's younger sister. Elle Fanning in Vivian Westwood and Cartier Jewelry. What I can tell from this young lady, a very, very bridal curtain like dress. I can't really say what the exact shape of the dress is because um the jacket. Um really really nice headwear. It looks like um gold yellow headwear and like a very very thick rope around the head but then black tendrils coming down. I don't know if she's specifically carrying um, a bouquet in hand or that she's also attached to the dress. But otherwise I think that the dress might actually just be like a shapless straight across the chest dress rather straight in the waist and then just a little bit more flared out floor length at the front train at the back. Oh, that's actually Jenna, Jenna Ortiz at the back there. I recognise that material. And also a bit of gold necklace around. Yeah, she was once again fitting in with the black and white theme. With a little bit of greenery from a bit of nature and such. It's a very fairy-like woodland. Okay, now somebody else who is just been carrying Chanel on her shoulders. And the fellow Aussie actress, Margot Robbie in Chanel. Now the way she's wearing her outfit is, is actually very similar to how Donatella Versace was wearing, was wearing her dress. But honestly, I honestly think that she should have had a, had a, a colour swap and or 
Margot specifically wearing um, a pink shade to obviously advertise for her latest role as Barbie. I mean, she wasn't not like she was at a premiere event for when Barbie um, got aired and released as a film, but yeah, it just would. I mean, maybe she is gearing up a lot of pink outfits for when Barbie film does get properly released and premiered and such. So obviously, I maybe I'm just thinking too far ahead of time in advance. And you know, she decided to stay with the um, basic blacks. And then wow us all with pinks later on when it's obviously more of a focus on her film um, Barbie rather than you know presenting pink um, at an event that has nothing to do with the film she's recently in so that's probably that concept right there a bit of a logical explanation that I just gave myself but otherwise her dress is ex exactly the same as Natalia Versace just with the added um, shoulder shawl thingy throw it over Floor length, a little bit at the back, train. I really like how she has some sort of very structured waves. Like she flattened it at the roots, but then gentle waves with the hair. I love how there's, there's a little bit of um, gold chaining on the boning of the um, corset part. And uh, the middle part that dangles from the ch chest is like this, like a tie, you know, that you add to a dress rather than around the neck. Margot looks stunning, of course. But she looks like she's held back fashion just a little bit until she explodes through with her Barbie clothing and with whatever her team comes up with then. And now for somebody who gave me absolute 18th century Mary Queen of Scots type vibes, Dua Lipa in Chanel. This was quite the um, take on a dress that Carl definitely put out there, um, think for a bridal wear it was. Very specific um, black tracing around the dress especially around the um, shoulders, around the neckline, and specifically around the um, waist that you know gives a very clear distinction in which part of it is you know, supporting corset, which part of the skirt, even um, even the bottom of the skirt, the hem, has the same blacking track material, yada yada. Material-wise, it's definitely giving coming back to Anne Hathaway's carpet-looking material. I love how ageless it is, timeless is the better word for it. I love this um, necklace that she's wearing. It's just a little something there to durify the outfit and the overall look. It would have been nicer if she has some sort of gloving on as well. Or even some jewellery around the wrist or something like that. I mean, I believe that she... No, that's a tattoo. I was still going to say that. I believe she has got a um, bit of whatever you call the jewellery part that, put her, put, that she put around her arm. But no, it's just a tattoo. She does have um, a few rings on. Otherwise, her outfit is just beautiful. It's timeless. It's very simplistic and it's damn I'm on that bed right now and it's definitely very Carl Legafield if I've said his name right I mean it's sort of stuck in my head but I don't think I pronounced it right I'm going to give my better chance to chart chance to chart while I get started on editing <laughs> 